Uh, Philadelphia Eagles fans likely had a stress-free time watching the Super Bowl last night. Yeah, their hair might be especially thankful for that. Sarah from Lakeville wanted to know, what makes hair turn gray? Good question. Jeff Wagner learned when it typically starts and how to keep your color as long as possible. Like a blanket of snow in February, a topping of white is inevitable from the landscape to our heads. It was kind of an overnight thing where it really went gray on me, so that was kind of a shock. When did you start to notice you had some gray hair? Let's see. I think when my son became a toddler. <laughs> There's a correlation there, maybe? I think so. For most of us, yeah, it's sort of just going to happen. Dr. Sarah Hilwa is a dermatologist with Hennepin Healthcare. Why does hair turn gray? Well, gray hair is part of the normal aging process, and it basically is when the pigment, like we have pigment in our skin, we have pigment in our hair, we lose the pigment cells and pigment granules. Pigment gives our hair color. We lose it as we age, turning hair gray and eventually white, which is our hair's natural color without pigment. Is there a typical age range when it starts? So in people of European ancestry, it starts earlier, so usually in the mid-30s. I think I was about 35 when it really started to, to come in. People of African ancestry is usually in the mid-40s. People of Asian ancestry, it's usually somewhere in between. Do you think there's other factors that can speed it up or make it happen sooner? I'm sure there is. I've heard that stress can do it. I don't know if that's true or not, but... I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Presidential pictures at the beginning and end of a term often highlight the salt and pepper side effect of a stressful job. So similar to other stressors on the body like smoking and all that, emotional or psychological stress also increases aging. Stress causes a chemical reaction that decreases the amount of pigment made, meaning less coloring for hair. Things that increase this oxidative stress are like UV damage, smoking, chronic illnesses. So if you want to try to slow the graying process, reduce your stress. Do so with exercise, getting enough sleep, eating a nutrient-rich diet, not smoking, and protecting your hair from UV rays. There's some low quality evidence that uh, vitamin B5 could be helpful to slow or reverse pigmentation, but that's about as good as we've got right now. Gray hair might happen sooner. For me, it was 15, at least the first hair. Or accumulate faster for certain people, but we all eventually meet at the finish line with a silver medal of sorts. I've earned it. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> and that's a good way to put, you've earned it, good for you. With photojournalist Jose Pascual, Jeff Wagner, WCCO News. Gray hair tends to be thicker and more coarse, but it is not dead or unhealthy. It is just slowly losing the ingredient that gives it color.